It seems like a lot of people want to know how to find the best young players in their save, but they're not quite sure how to get them. YouTube has been suggesting I make a video on this topic for about six months because so many of my subscribers are searching for it, so it's finally time to have a look at some ways to find those hidden talents in your career modes. I'll split this video into two different sections. First we'll look at how to find young players by scouting the transfer market, and then we'll look at how to get the very best youth players into your academy. So let's start with some basics. Did you know you can actually see what potential a young player has? If you look at their player profile, you'll notice one of four things written right here. First, we have join the club in and then a year. This means they'll have under 80 potential and you could probably ignore them. We also have showing great potential, which means they have between 80 and 85 potential. You have an exciting prospect, which is between 86 and 90 potential. And you have finally the best status, which is potential to be special, which is commonly written as PTBS. This means they have between 91 and 94 potential. Because of this, you don't actually need to scout a player to see this information, and you can easily avoid a bunch of flops. We also need to talk about regens, because they're by far one of the best places to find some overpowered talent. Regens are created when an original player retires and has the same potential, position, nationality and date of birth as the original player. To give an example, you might look for Ronaldo's regen, who would be a Portuguese striker and have the same potential Ronaldo has at the minute, which is 87. They'd either appear at a club in the Saudi Arabian League or in the free agents pool, which you can see in the transfer market. I think the most notorious current example of a regen is Benzema. After a few seasons, even if he hasn't retired, a replacement French centre forward will be born to take Benzema's spot. The player will be put in either the same league as Benzema or in the free agents pool in the transfer market. In short, a regen is a player who replaces another player once they retire. Of course, this only applies to older players. The majority of young players like Mbappe and Haaland won't actually retire in the 15 years we get in our career modes. You should always be checking the free agents list on the first day of every season. See if you can identify the player who is regening from Modric, Tony Cruz, Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi and you can develop them into a top quality player and know they have really high potential from the start. So now we know about player statuses and how the regen system works. You should be able to find at least a couple of super high potential players every season just from these two things. But don't forget about the scouting network, which is by far the best way to passively find wonder kids while you're doing other things in your career mode. So scouting, what's actually the point in it? Not only is it the easiest way to find players that will fit your tactics, it can also be a really easy way of adding a little bit of realism to FIFA. Scouting instructions are a massive part of that, so let's have a look at some of the ones you need to use to find good young players. Because we're looking for the young players, the majority of the time you want to have the promising instruction selected. If you don't, you'll be getting scouts that are recommending you Jamie Vardy while your club is looking for 18 year olds. The rest of the instructions are pretty easy to understand. Tall will bring back tall players. Pacey brings back fast players and aerial threat looks for jumping and heading accuracy. The instructions are 100% something you should look at on day one of starting your save. First set up your tactic and then decide what kind of young player you want in each position. With the six slots that you get, you can easily cover the majority of the squad. Let's say you play a 4-4-2, you can use one for young attackers, one for young wingers, one for centre mids, full backs, centre backs and the final one to look for goalkeepers or for a different type of player in one of the other areas. Depending on the level of scout that you use here, you should be getting between 10 and 20 player reports per week. This will give you basic data on over a thousand young players per year and from this point it's up to you to check the player status message, for example potential to be special and then scout the players that you think look the best from these scout reports. So that's three ways to find young players. We have the slowest way which is check every single young player in the game's status message and then scout the ones that have high enough potential for your team. We also have the regen way, where you check all the young players when they appear on the transfer market on the first day of the season. And finally we have the fastest way, which is using the scouting network to list about a thousand promising players every single season. The youth academy is slightly different, so let's have a look at that now. There are only two things you can actually do to change the ability of players that you're bringing into your academy. The first is your youth scouts judgement star rating, and the second is the nation that you've sent them to. Before we talk about the quality you'll be getting back, we need to explain a small part about how the game actually generates player. Each player's potential is inside one of four ranges. It might look quite complicated, but it's actually quite easy to understand. 
as the judgment stat increases, so does the amount of players you'll find from the better platinum and gold ranges. With a one star judgment scout, you're finding a platinum player about 1% of the time. As you generate 12 reports per season, let's say you average between one and two players per report, you'll generate around 18 players every single year. As two and three star scouts will actually find slightly more players per year, 30 and 48 players each respectively, even if you didn't increase the quality, which they also do increase, they'd find between three and four times more good players every single season. Because the ability to find good players also increases, a two star scout will actually find an 85 potential player every other season, while a three star scout will find one 4% of the time. From the 48 players you'll average every single season, this means that you'll find about two players with 85 potential per season if you have a three star experience and three star judgment scout. If you combine everything we've looked at in today's video, you should be finding at least five Wonder Kids per season, but more likely you'll be finding about 20 from both your Youth Academy Scouts and your Transfer Network Scouts. If you want your save to try and remain a bit more fun, try and limit the amount you have or swap them with teams in your league to make things a little bit harder. For example, if you've got a load of Wonder Kids and you notice some of the other teams in your league have absolutely none, maybe swap some of their really bad youth players for some of your really good ones that you just don't think you'll ever end up using. Hopefully you've learned something a bit about finding players and hopefully this resolves the content gap I've been getting phone notifications about for the last six months. Why not check out my Pentagon Challenge series playlist on screen right now or the other video that I think you'd really enjoy. Thanks for watching, cheers and goodbye.